This video gives a brief history of how America found its path to success, power, and wealth. Unfortunately, some of these successes were built by oppressing minorities within our nation. Today, we can overcome these past injustices. In order to live a more purposeful and prosperous life, we must learn to acknowledge and accept our ancestral history. We can begin this healing process by first adding value, prosperity, and wealth to our lives. By investing in personal development, financial knowledge can be acquired. In the 1600s, European settlers crossed the Atlantic Ocean to escape the tyranny and oppression from their native homelands. The colonists built settlements consisting of different social, political, religious, and economic backgrounds. After years of struggle, they eventually overcame their hardships and began to thrive. Tobacco became the colonists' largest export to England. The population of the colonies soon exploded with more people arriving from Europe. With the success of tobacco, additional land and labor was needed. This directly impacted the Native Americans and introduced the African slave to the colonies. Native Americans were displaced from their homes through disease and wars. Slaves were free labor used to work the tobacco farms. Some would say that the American colonies were founded on tobacco. With the demand of tobacco, agriculture spread throughout the South and the first plantations were built. By the 1700s, the American colonies were known as a place to expand your horizons, living life on your own terms, and practicing your own religion. The idea of freedom created tremendous growth and expansion throughout the original 13 colonies. England noticed the transformation in the colonies and capitalized on the fortunes of the New World. They pillaged the natural resources such as timber for British ships and increased taxation of the colonists. The idea of complete independence from England spread throughout the colonies. So began the American Revolution. The American Patriots eventually defeated the British in an eight-year war and gained independence from Britain and established the United States of America. The Declaration of Independence was written and the first modern democracy was founded. While the Constitution outlined the ideas of liberty and the rights of man, equality, and freedom of religion, this did not apply to people of color. Tyranny, oppression, slavery, genocide, and systemic racism has prevailed in America for more than 200 years. The Native American's way of life was completely destroyed with America's westward expansion. Andrew Jackson's Indian Removal Act of 1830 evicted all Native people from their land east of the Mississippi River. Their lands were seized and they were relocated to different territories in the West. These government enforcements were enacted throughout the 1800s to the Native American people. The colonization of Native people was a system set up for failure. After decades of oppression and with no economic prospects, this led some to alcoholism, drugs, suicide, abuse, and poverty. By the late 1700s, tobacco was ruining farmlands and also losing its value. In England, the textile industry was booming and this created tremendous demand for cotton in the US. Soon, cotton replaced tobacco and transformed the southern United States from Georgia to Texas. The slave population would increase for the next several decades. By the start of the Civil War, 
there were four million slaves in America. After the slaves were freed, the new slavery became convict leasing. People were brought up on frivolous and false charges so that they would essentially become slaves of the state. In the 20th century, African Americans were relegated to second-class status. This law enforced racial segregation in public facilities, jobs, schools, housing, and voter suppression. By the 1970s, racial profiling, criminalization, and mass incarceration of African Americans became the new form for institutionalized racism, discrimination, and exclusion. Under the federal government's mandate, some black communities were forced from their land and homes and placed in public housing in order to build infrastructures such as highways and parking lots. This destroyed many black neighborhoods and created a decline in living standards, higher unemployment, poor health care, and poor education. The loss of homes was also a loss of wealth for black families. The Latino people are the second most discriminated ethnic group after African Americans. From the very beginning, the United States needed cheap labor to build railroad tracks, erect towns, toil on ranches, and work in the agricultural fields. Mexican Americans were only wanted for their labor, their military service, and their taxes. White Americans began to harbor resentment with a growing Hispanic population in cities and towns. They were discriminated against for bringing a different language, a different culture, and a different religion into their communities. Latinos were treated like second-class citizens and forced into segregated communities, forbidden to serve on juries, and their children were only allowed to attend segregated schools. Mexican Americans tend to say, they didn't cross the border, the border crossed them. Like the Native American and African American people, these discriminatory conditions often led to poor mental and physical health, lack of jobs, and poverty. Asian Americans were also considered economic threats at times in American history. They suffered from the same oppressive and discriminatory practices used against minority groups. Hundreds of Chinese people died from explosions, landslides, accidents, and disease. They requested but never received equal pay, shorter work days, or better working conditions for building the country's first transcontinental railroad. For their contribution to American history, the country signed the Exclusion Act of 1882 into law. This prohibited immigration of Chinese laborers and forced American-born Chinese into segregated parts of town known as Chinatowns. The Chinese were thought to be a threat to American jobs and therefore suffered years of racial discrimination until 1943 when the government deemed them essential in the fight against Japan in World War II. In 1942, President Roosevelt forced 120,000 Japanese Americans from their jobs and homes into prisons, known as internment camps. They were relocated to harsh conditions in deserts, surrounded by barbed wire with armed guards watching over them in towers. During World War II, the Americans were also at war with Italy and Germany. However, Italian and German Americans remained free to live their lives as normal Americans. At the end of the war, the Japanese Americans were released from the internment camps, only to return home to find that all their possessions were taken or destroyed. Their farmlands were burned. Due to discrimination, there was no work available to provide income for their families. Many Japanese Americans became homeless and destitute. Today, we have the ability to turn the pages of history and achieve equality and complete freedom by becoming financially free. What if hope and opportunity were available to everyone in America, regardless of race, religion, and gender? What if we lived in peace with less violence and crime? 
What if we had better schools, better jobs, and better health care? What if we were able to build stronger relationships with our friends and family? What if we earned more money and were able to keep more money? What if we had better living conditions, along with home ownership? What if we could establish generational wealth for our families? What if we had more economic power? What if we had more political representation? What would America look like? It would look like true freedom, and it starts with financial education. We are American-made. We owe it to our ancestors who survived tremendous historical trauma in order for us to live today in hope of a brighter future. It's time to unlearn what you think you know about money and relearn the truth of how to become financially empowered. Building wealth is simple if you have the right game plan, a positive mindset, guidance, patience, discipline, consistency, and accountability. Imagine trading time for freedom instead of trading time for money. Your possibilities would be infinite. Take the next step and join the financial movement at Mason Institute. Mason Institute is not an online course, but more of an educational platform guiding you along the way to achieve financial knowledge. Gain access to programs, mentors, mastermind groups, and resources that will bring clarity, direction, and insight to the wealthy mindset, investments, asset structures, and legacy wealth. By following the blueprint of the wealthy, regardless of your current circumstances, financial freedom can be achieved in years, not decades.